On a recent visit to Matera in southern Italy, it was a beautiful city and the lights in the city looked great, but I didn't have much luck with skies. So thankfully, when we do want to add a little bit of sky drama, we can do that by using Sky AI. First thing I want to do is click on Sky Selection, and I want to load a custom sky pack called Epic Sunsets that I've created for Luminar. And I'm going to drag that to the custom folder. Now, when I go to Sky Selection, I'm going to see all of my custom skies. So let's try a few. In this case, I want to select a sky that's dramatic, but not overly distracting. Really what I want to do is create texture in the sky. So this is a really nice start, and the masking is already perfect. One of the best sliders in Sky AI is the relight scene. So it allows you to use some of the tonality from the sky and place it in the foreground. It's a really nice way to blend the colors together. Now, what I want to point out is this was a blue hour shot, and this is almost a blue hour in the sky. It's more of a sunset. So I want to make sure that I match it. So in this case, it's still a little too warm. So let's cool it down to match the blue hour tones. We can also change the exposure, which can make it a little darker or a little lighter, again, to better match the image. Once this is applied, we can do further refinement. So using Enhance AI and Accent AI, for example, will now not only affect the foreground, but it'll also affect the sky itself. So we can start to use things like Accent AI and even Sky Enhancer. Sky Enhancer wouldn't have been useful before because there was no sky, but now we can start to edit this image and make them feel like they're one. Sky replacement is a great tool to have at your disposal. Just make sure you try to match the sky with the scene. Bear in mind that not all sunsets are the same and every scene's gonna require trying out different skies to make it feel right.